just arrived into Belfast and about to check into the 10 Square Hotel. Well, we can't check in just yet because the room isn't available. But we've had books for us, uh, Billy Scott, who's a blue badge taxi driver. So he's going to give us a tour of Belfast. Right. So the cathedral, this St. Anne's Cathedral, this is only old Romanesque. Romanesque art actually means you can build a sect, a lightweight, titanium stuff, the artwork. What built it is. The unsinkable Molly Bry, that was the Titanic one. If you walk in the decks and if you walk in exactly the same decks, it's the Titanic. Incredibly interesting around here. There's so much history, there's open talk about the troubles, but it's it's just more than the trouble, so I'm super impressed, really impressed. I'm sat in drawing room two. There are actually two drawing rooms that the thousands of ships were designed in these drawing rooms, including the Y Star Line, uh, infamous Titanic, and the HMS Belfast was also designed here. And then they were taken out there, and, uh, built in the dry dock. Titanic was uh, two years in dry dock, and then one year on the slips. The drawing room restaurant is part of the Titanic Hotel. We're on board SS Nomadic. Nomadic was built at the same time as Titanic. In fact, it used the same steel that Titanic was built for. And obviously, this is a bit of a giveaway, the White Star Line. A few minutes walk from Ten Square Hotel, we're at Dean's Meat Locker. This is where we are for dinner tonight, so let's go and see what they've got on offer. It's a real nice selection of meats. Um, there's also fish and other things if you really want to see. But uh, for now, it's enjoying the right thing. So it's Belfast and the Titanic fan. Now we're going to do some golf in Northern Ireland. I'm at Galgon Castle. We're playing the uh, Pro Am today. Second hole at Galgon. I hit it far too long and I just tried to put it down to the uh, hole, it got stuck. <laughs> Playing in the uh, pro am at uh, ISPS Handler in uh, Galgon Castle. Just done a birdie putt, hit the flag, but it was off the green. It's a huge putt. Would have been a nice way to win. But happy with the par, with the shot. Hot Rush Golf Club is over where the long red roof is. It's quite attractive about the 
mushroom is actually the variety of whiskies and other spirits that's available. It's all the fun and honesty bar. It was right down on the tape and you get charged at the end. outside Castle Rock we've taken a slight diversion to come to Mussenden Temple. This was the former house and a temple behind there leading all the way down to the Atlantic Ocean. We're going to have a look around at this National Trust property. The advantage of National Trust properties is they're actually free of charge or this particular one is free of charge to get into. It's a great place for a family walk, close to the beach. It's just very very pretty. course to be honest you know if you go out of, if you get into trouble it's not easy to recover although at the moment with the hot sunshine they've had in Northern Ireland the course is a bit parched and therefore a little bit easier to get out of thank goodness I loved it I, I, I liked it yeah today. It's a links course right by the coast. The beach is literally just down there. The pretty nice thing about this beach is they allow cars on it so you haven't got to carry all the flat track yourself and just junk it in the car and take the whole thing down there. Lovely idea. The first hole of Port Stewart it's called Tubber Patrick. No idea why but it's between 400 and 427 yards. It's quite dog leg ride. But it's visually so attractive and amongst all the dunes. Let's see if we can make some damage on this first hole.
of green around the corner. I'm going for that. number 15 of the strand course the uh, forward tees is only about 120 yards and i did club up i played my 130 bat didn't work look absolutely didn't work that's a fried egg and a half so i've got choices i can come out sideways i don't want to come over that way because it'll put me in the other bunker i could come out to the right or i can go for it what would you do strand course at Port Stewart, 18 holes, absolutely stunning. The front nine's quite different to the back nine, very, very high dunes on the front nine. And whilst the back nine potentially could look boring, it really isn't. There's, there's lots and lots of interest. There's not the high side of dunes or the things like that that's on the front nine, but really, really enjoyable too. Greens are huge. They run really, really well. Definitely worth a visit. Really enjoyed it. I wish everybody could come and see this natural phenomenon. It's just stunning. Do some kayaking. Who would think that we're doing kayaking in the Northern Ireland? But we are. We're so looking forward to it. it looks like a mill pond out there, but uh, we've got boats rocks, so it's a little bit more challenging. Yes. Game of Thrones. This is where the Game of Thrones or part of Game of Thrones was filmed here at Ballantoy. We are going kayaking. Okay. from a kayak to the rope bridge from uh, Ballantoy Bay. We crossed three bays and it was really easy and great fun going. The wind was with, the tide was worth coming back. <laughs> that was not easy. I think I've got muscles, I didn't know where I had muscles. But a fantastic experience, really, really great fun. 